So we are finally taking a W here in Starfield and the ship technicians have decided to give us all of the credits from the ships that we wish to sell. So why not farm them? And this guide, I'm going to teach you all the locations to the best ship vendors that you need to sell your ships to, as well as how to farm ships and some easy quick tips and a couple of secrets. Let's get into it. Of course, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. I want to give a huge thank you and a shout out to all of you that's been supporting the channel. Thank you for requesting this video and I'm glad I could bring it to my community. We're so close to a thousand subs and that's only thanks to you guys. So let's keep it moving. Without further ado, let's get into it. Ship prep. So first things first, you're going to need to grab yourself a ship that's either really amazing or has some EM weapons on it so that you can board ships with ease. Run yourself over to the Serpentis system. Serpentis is a place where we know has the highest ambush rate at about probably 85 to 90 percent and you're guaranteed to get lit up by somebody who wants you dead. Take out all the extra ships that pull up and make sure that once those ships turn into little space confetti you leave the last ship standing and you dock them. Take out the crew once the bodies hit the floor hop into the pilot seat and commandeer your brand new ship. It's just that simple. Do not register the ships. We don't need to do that no more. Let's get into the next part of the guide. Stack up on some ships. So once you've taken this ship, don't just leave in this ship and go to your favorite tech. No, 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 no. What we want to do is we want to go back into our spaceship. So redock with your own spaceship and then fly yourself over to another planet and repeat the process. The best thing to do is always to try to farm as many ships as you possibly can each cycle. I can only hold up to three extra ships because all of my other ship slots are taken. But if your ship slots are not taken and you can carry all nine ships, then be my guest. You'll be making a lot more money a lot more faster than I will. But once you've collected your fleet of ships that you're ready to sell, let's go the no fee way. It's easy to bypass the registration fee. All you need to do is find your favorite techie, pull up on them, jump into their sales tab. You want to click either the L, B, and A button at the same time or the R, B, and A button at the same time in order to bypass the registration fee and sell the ship straight off. If it fails, don't be afraid to try it again. Now, let's get into the best part of this guide. I actually went around this entire map and found the location of some of the best techs that you need to go sell your ships to. So let's get into it. Alpha Centauri. In Alpha Centauri, there's going to be the ship tech that we all know and love in Jemison at New Atlantis. The Shanene system. I mean the Cheyenne system. The Cheyenne system is home to Aquila City, which rest in peace to that poor puddle that got um, Thanos snapped by our beloved Bethesda. You will be missed. But anyways, as soon as you pop down to the spaceport, the ship technician is right in front of you. Let's head over to Valo. Valo is the place where you can find Hope Town. As soon as you pop down on Valo, your ship technician will be right here. The key. The key is actually an amazing place that you might want to go to, especially if you want to sell a whole bunch of weapons, ammo, and extra items that you don't need anymore because there's so many vendors in one spot. However, the only way you're going to be able to get to the key in the Crick system is if 
you are not currently an enemy to the Crimson Fleet. So, if you haven't already, try to start this quest as fast as you can. Pull up on the Crimson Fleet and go talk to Jasmine. The soul system. The soul system is home to three ship techs. So let's get into it. You have one in New Homestead. And here's a bonus tip. If you pop down at New Homestead, you can actually buy the Nova Passageway from this man's right here. So make sure you remember and keep him in your hearts because this is a great ship technician to come to if you want some, you know, a little bit more advanced space parts. Of course, you can go over to Sidonia. The ship technician for the Sidonia area is right over to the left. You can also go down to the Deimos Star Yard. The Deimos Star Yard technician is actually the man himself. He'll be standing there like Mr. Clean waiting for you to come talk to him. Let's move on to an amazing ship technician. In the Narion system, you have two ship techs waiting for you. One of them is gonna be waiting for you at the Stroud Eklund Star Yard, and they have an amazing 160,000 credits for you to collect off of them. So snatch those up real quick. Not too far away from them, you can find the clinic in orbit, and you'll find your ship technician over to the right. Let's move forward to the Porima system. The Porima system is home to the Paradiso and the Red Mile. So we can go say hello to Mr. Anderson. As well as take a trip down to the Paradiso to this stunning technician right here. If you want to go a little bit further out from our usual systems, you can jump over to the IZO system. The IZO system or the IXYLL system is home to the Elios Retreat. And finally, we pull up to the greatest place in the game to sell your ship off, and that is Neon. Neon is home to three ship technicians that aren't hostile or anything to you that you need to talk to. One of them is going to be straight back at the rooftops of the Tayo Astroneering area, which is inside the Reunion Tower. The second one, of course, is sitting right at the landing pad at the starport in Neon as soon as you go up, so you don't even have to go to the core. After you finish talking to the main starport Neon technician, then take the elevator upstairs if you don't have any contraband on you. Take the elevator upstairs and go to the Stroud Eklund office showroom so that you can get another 160,000 credits. So, why are the Neon ship technicians so special? 
First of all, there's three of them on this planet. For seconds, Neon is home to two technicians that have more than 160,000 credits waiting for you. So it's a very easy place to sell off a whole bunch of ships and stack up on those credits even faster than you would if you went to other ship technicians. If you like what we do here on the channel, make sure you smash that like button and sub to the channel so that you don't miss any more tips, tricks, and guides for Starfield like this one. This has been your boy M of Emson Sage D. For now, I'm out of here.